Mr. Chris DeRosa. I'm literally watching Selling Sunset as we speak. <laughs> Welcome to Hi Felicia. Hi Felicia. Hi Felicia. Welcome! This is a special episode. Felicia gets back from Greece on Sunday. So we have straight from Italy, Mr. Chris DeRosa, who is not only a podcast host, but television producer. And some may know him from, he had a lot of appearances on uh, Housewives of New Jersey this season. (laughs) I spotted you so much. If you ask me, but yeah. There was a lot. Like, I saw you a lot. Like, definitely on rails. Like, in in the restaurant. It was great. Yes. 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 (laughs) So, when did you get back from Italy? Oh, my God. Yesterday. I'm still, I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning and, like, I'm trying to stay up tonight so I can like re- like you know recalibrate myself, but it was a whirlwind of a trip and it's it was so much fun. My credit card is my credit card in literal pieces, yes, mm-hmm. but like uh, it was the best time. It was worth it, a hundred percent for the financial debt. It was. Will worth I be going- digging myself out of this hole yeah. for two years? Yes, but like who? Whatever. But you were with your mom, who is gorgeous. I was your with family, my parents. Right? Yes, I was with my parents. I was with Hassan. I was with my sister and her husband. We had the best time. And then once we were done there, Hassan and I went to Budapest for like Ooh. three nights and had the best time. Did you feel like you were scouting for a new location of White Lotus or a girl's trip housewife? Well, we were like basically at a poor people's White Lotus when we were in Sorrento. Like it was White Lotus on a budget, you know, not the Four Seasons. But we were at like the regular, regular White Lotus. And what did you think? I know you mentioned to me you have some thoughts on the Americans in Italy. Well, you know what's so funny is like if you tell someone that you're going to Florence, they are like, and this is not meant to be mean. Like every person that has done that did this, and I did reach out to some multiple friends the first time I went there to be like, where should I go? But every person like immediately will tell you like their favorite restaurants there. And they're like, you have to go there. Like if you miss this restaurant, like you'll never recover. And like most restaurants are exactly the same (laughs) and they're all amazing. And I was like stuffing my face. Like it was Christmas day every day, which was uh, great. But everyone really feels like that, that Florence is their city. And it's like, it's just the oddest thing because ever, as soon as I put up that we were in Florence, people were like, you have to go, like, unprompted. You have to go here. You have to go there. I went here. I did this. I did that. Blah, blah, blah. Like, as if th- no one has ever been to Florence before. Does Wait, did a lot sense? of, yes, did a lot of the people, like, overlap and have similar recommendations? So you can no, be like, yeah, no. Never once was it the same. And it's a, yeah, it, it just, it was very strange, but it was, I liked it, but people were like, if you don't go there, like, why are you even in Florence? And I was like, okay, it's really not that serious. Wow. Did you feel like one of the recommendations was like, wow, you know what I'm really I, glad? We had or our no, trip were you planned. just like, uh, yeah, like, we right, had our trip right. planned. And many a friend, like, were each out with great recommendations and like, I have used them before, but it was like random people being like, oh my God, you must go here or this or that. And bu- and I was like, wow, that really, and again, oh, nowhere that's interesting. else. So, that people we messaging me like, oh, Felicia's increased. I'm going to tell her like, she should do this, she should do that. I'm like, she's on a yacht. She's got the trip planned. No, she's. <laughs> she's watching Korean television on her iPad on a yacht. Okay. Actually, she she's did call me naked yesterday. <laughs> I was in San Francisco and I spoke to her yesterday morning and she, she's going to be so mad that I'm going to tell you this. She had a lot of diarrhea. One fr- from, from an, from a dining experience. No. She said 11 okay. out of 46 people in her tour group I, all got sick. But she said the food was like amazing. It's like a very high end. No, I have a theory. I have a theory. I have a theory. I think, and again, this is a conspiracy. It doesn't not have to be. Really doesn't have something to do with being but it's Jewish. Like just my opinion. <laughs> I no. I think that like what it is is that the because we have so many preservatives in our food. Because when we got to Florence, my entire family was like <laughs> what we in my family call a poop episode that my mom <laughs> called me a long a time ago when my little okay. cousin was having diarrhea when he was a baby. Yeah. And a poop episode, like when you're like going through it. And my whole family had that. And it was like with our right. first meal that was good. And like, we didn't, no one had food poisoning or anything like that. I think it's because like we're eating fresh food that like doesn't have all of the bullshit that we put in our American food this that they're sense. not allowed to have. This oh is what I think God. it's like. She said she had to like miss the, day at the beach the, like, she couldn't leave the toilet. I'm just going to tell you that like members of my family, not oh, myself, but members so of my family rough. had to like turn back and like go back 
to like yeah the I would hotel, I like, wouldn't make it abroad we then, walking, because you know I I like, have diarrhea on a daily basis <laughs> I. I you're probably right. I think you're that probably that's right. What it is? I'm serious. Like, right? What are we eating that's so bad? Like nothing. I we had pasta and like steak. Like I didn't eat anything crazy. I wasn't eating like yeah. sea urchin that was raw. That would, do you know what I'm saying? Like I was eating like normal food that we every person in Oof. Italy eats, and we were like going through it the first couple of days. And Europe is like the land of Coke Zero, which is like I you know delight in, but like. You couldn't get a Diet Coke to save your life. And I think it's because like they aren't allowed to have this stuff, like whatever the aspartame and all that shit that is in Diet Coke that I don't think is in Coke Zero is like, or whatever it is. Like, wow, we're not. I think your theory is correct. I absolutely think it's correct. But besides that, Felicia, she says lots of laughs. She's having a great time. And she says hello to everybody. And I think we have a message. We, We recorded a phone call with her. Before yesterday, and she said she was with a bunch of women, oh and they listened to the podcast. And she goes, "Everybody wants to know how are they doing this Anna Delvey with an, uh, an ankle monitor." I was like, "It's ma, they're leaning into it." And she goes, "What is leaning into? What does that mean?" So I had to kind of explain that to her. Yeah, but it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, like answer I, it. I said, "What's well, speaking answer of Dominic it on is speaker, calling please, me right tell now?" We're recording. Uh, so, wait, hold on. Um. Hi, you're on Hi Felicia with Marnie and I. Dominic and Chris co host yeah. Fixing Famous People. We just started recording. <laughs> and I'm calling about. Yes, hi, Dom. You're on the air. Am I really? Yes. Well, I'm Great. I'm going to ask you a question and I don't care who hears it. <laughs> what is my login information? I'm going to kill you. I. <laughs> Dominic, we're going <laughs> to. That's it. I, I, I don't even. I, this is. We've had this credit card for two months, and this is the second time. I have to go. Dom, we might as well give out your social security number too while we're at it. Uh, would you like to tell us your social security number on the podcast? I say this to my husband all the time. Write Please it write down. This down. <laughs> just listen to High Felicia whenever I need to remember the information. Yeah, just call Marnie, and she knows now too, so you don't have to actually bother me with this anymore. This is this is my whole family. Okay, goodbye. write it, the logins down. I'm gonna we're gonna move on to the news of the week. And my big question for you is I feel like I might break some news for you. Did you hear what happened or what was what came out about Dave Grohl? Very I'm a big Dave Grohl fan. Yes. Huge. Like, I did. did his book. I've seen him on concert so many times. Thought he was the nicest, sure, best sure, man sure. ever. Disappointed in, in Grohl. I think he's been having an affair. I'm sure he's been sleeping with women throughout his whole career. Uh, Forever. Yeah. And you know what? Here's the other thing is like, it really sucks because like they might have like an open marriage. You never know. I, again, just my opinion. Like they, she could be like, you're a literal rock star. Like, yeah. Like I know you're going to bang other girls. Just like, never let me find out about it. Like that might be something that happens. I do agree with that. But what's up with like, why didn't you use a condom? But then like, why couldn't you be safe about it? Yeah. And a photo leaked of the girl. And I don't know if it's like really her because there's a lot of false information coming out. She doesn't look like his beautiful wife. I'll sure, tell sure, you that. Sure. No, but that's what they always say is like the cheat, like the, know, per, like the affair trashy. person is I'm always sorry, like, Dave. you're always like, huh? I, 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 I'm a little, I'm just disappointed, girl. And like his daughters yeah. got off social media and like, it's a mess. And like, it's, it's just bad. a mess. Like that's bad. And now he's going to have to like be with this child yeah, forever. So girl, you know what I mean? Like that I, you really know, I'll still see things. you in concert, I guess. Like, but I'm disappointed. I just want you to know, Dave. Um, Announced today, Judd Apatow is set to direct and Steven Spielberg to produce Cola Wars about the 80s battle between Pepsi and Coke. And I'm looking forward to that. I think that'll be fun. I, I, I like I, like am real I looking stories. To that? I'm like not I sure. love, I feel like there's there's a word for it, Casey, that we used before. Um, like I love like the, the, the scripted story of Uber, the scripted story of WeWork. I love those kind of stories. So um, I'll take the Cola Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, sure, sure, sure. you probably heard. More Spielberg um, is set to yeah. direct the sequel of Goonies. Did you hear about this? No. And it's rumored to oh, be God. starring, by know. the way, Catherine O'Hara and Elijah Wood is rumored to be in it. But also it's about Sean Astin's character, like coming back 40 years later after the film. And like Mikey returns, the old gang gets back together. 
I don't know. I don't know. And if you know, I, who also signed up. Who's I the guy that won the I Oscar? Like, <laughs> like the, the Asian guy that won the Oscar that like everybody loves. Josh Brolin. Yeah, hey, and it's Kwan. called Goonies are good enough. Lance Christmas twenty twenty six. Guys, I'm down. I'm down. I mean, they're really scraping the bottom of the barrel. I watched Madam Web on the plane back, and I've never seen a movie as terrible. Like, no, and again, Sydney Sweeney, I have like on my like vision board of like you will be like Nicole Kidman. Like she will be an actor forever. I think she's incredible. But when I tell you that Dakota Johnson couldn't act her way out of a paper fucking bag in Felicia this movie, on I was movie like, what also the said fuck am awful. I watching? <laughs> awful. Terrible. But the script You was, watched that like on the plane it, screen? It was unforgivable. You didn't have like Thank God I didn't go to the movies how, to how see it. Because I would have walked. Flight. I'm serious, I would have left the movie. Did you come in prepared with like downloaded? I had all kinds of shit and I watched you know what I watched? I watched Up in the Air with George Clooney oh, and Oh yes. Vera Farmiga, whatever her name is. Yes. And it's like Anna Kendrick's like first Anna real Kend- role. Yeah. And PS Star sided Melanie Linsky's in it. Um which I think the other people that are oh um I don't remember Melanie Linsky in it. I Mel- saw that movie. Melanie Linsky I remember. Is, in his, is his sister. It was so fucking good, and it was a movie about basically nothing, and there was no real point to it, and it's just a character study of this man, and like it was incredible, and I was like, this is what movies used to be, and like now everything has to be the Goonies sequel. <laughs> 75 million version of whatever the fuck or like madam like this weird something it was just a it was, it was. just a movie yep it was just so it was so good Great. i was like this Love is that. just a movie this Love is that. just a movie and that's sometimes what you need on a plane yes felicia watched t- dune one and dune two on the plane to greece and i said that is atrocious that you would do that that's, on a plane yeah not good not well, good also too i'm try- i don't want to watch anything too new because it's like I don't want to watch it on that like shitty ass plane screen. Right. Like I want to watch it. Like I watched Dune Dune One like in the theaters, like yeah, that in makes Dolby sense. Vision. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, and it's you, I save some things that are like oh, any like old rom com is like her, like my best friend's wedding, perfect plane movie, perfect plane movie. And I think you made the right decision with Up in the Air. I I, I respect that decision. I respect. Did you hear that Patricia Arquette is going to star as Maggie Murdoch in the Hulu limited series about the Murdoch murders? Fuck no, but that's <laughs> that's I'm interested. Wait, we really sidestepped because Dominic called me and ruined our thing, our flow. We sidestepped Anna Delvey on Dancing with the we Stars. Did, we did. We back could, to yeah, that? we could circle back. We did cover Dancing that, with the Stars last week, but I, tell me what you think about Anna Delvey. I need to see. I the, like dance one. I need to see her kick that leg up in the air with the ankle bracelet on it. Do you know what I mean? Yes. The, or as Dominic called it, the criminal anklet. <laughs> Like, I need to see the ankle monitor, like, be, like, displayed it, through a lift with a kick. Felicia thinks it'll be bedazzled. I said, that's brilliant. Oh, that would be incredible. I was like, it, great idea. You know, like, you know, like, when, like, Taylor Swift, or, like, when, like, a pop star has, like, their mic pack thing that, they that like, lets them hear themselves. Like, their IFB, basically. Yeah. To get inside baseball. Like, and then they have it, like, in the same fabric as their outfit. Yes. I want her to have that. Like, it's, like, covered up with, like, bedazzled jewels. <laughs> yeah, and it's, like, part of the stocking, or is it over? It's going to be over the over the tight. You're right. I think it's going to be great. I think, I, I'm i rooting for her. A lot of people message I'm, me, well, like. I, me, too. She's people a criminal. Like, not, I was like. I'm not watching. I'm like, okay, yeah. and. Like, give it to me. Give me. Anna's come a long way. Like. Also, like, she, a, okay, the, Trump is running for president. Anna Delvey could be on Dancing with the Stars. Like, yeah. You just said it. Also, That's it. P.S. Guess what she actually did was, like, defraud right. hotel chains. But I don't give a fuck she, about that. And she's all, all off that already. This is the ankle braces for immigration. Because she's supposed to yeah. be back in Germany. Like, who cares? Yeah, if they really didn't like her. If she was really that terrible, they would have deported her. So, like, Let yeah. her have this moment. She made it. I don't think she's going to win. I don't think she's going to go that far. No, of course not. No, of course not. But I don't I don't need her to go that far. I just need to see that ankle monitor getting kicked up in the air is what I need. All right, I have a source on the crew. I'm going to ask him to send me a photo of the yeah, we need, of, yeah, of the cuz I don't that. know when that show yes. premieres. Do we know when I it think starts? It's soon. I think, I think it's, soon. it's very soon, like next week. Yeah. I know, and I'm going to be lining up to my television to watch it. Um there's one more news update. Netflix has ordered Aaron Rodgers Docu, like a documentary, a three parter with him called Enigma. About, oh, brother. About the outspoken New York Jets quarterback. I know people like don't like him, but I don't know why. 
I think he got caught up in some of the vaccination stuff. Oh, you know, yeah. But, that'll uh, do it. That'll do yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, that'll stick with you. Yeah. And he also dated Shailene Woolley. And, like, I love that. And wasn't he? Oh, no. You and know he what was it with was? Um, Olivia Munn. Uh, Olivia Munn. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to watch that. I love I love the sports docs. I'm very into it. I love Becca. I love that shit. Netflix is really doing it with the sports doc because they're doing really well and well, yeah. I watch I watch a lot of them I'm really into it I'm not I'm not an athletic person and I no, don't really God no and I don't God. really give a shit like I don't go to like NFL games yeah, like whatever yeah you're not like well, no yeah, you're, yeah I don't care if, who wins but I just love seeing the athlete go from here to like rise yeah. up get arrested have a scandal I don't know yeah it's a yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a great story did you watch the the Dallas Cheer. I know. Of course like I did. Late, of course yeah, I did. That's like my pornography. I was like obsessed with them trying out for the team. I mean, and how many times can I watch that opening number? Um, as many, I, I'm, I'm open to I, it. My friend's daughter like knows it. And I was like, when I eventually come to visit your family, I want your daughter to teach me the dance. Yeah. Like I need to know Thunderstruck. And it's a TikTok trend now. Yeah. Now, I'm wondering if they're going to get another season of that. They are. No, they're, they already filmed it. They did. I love this tea. P.S. What was her name? Kelly, the one that was from Weehawk in New Jersey, truly five minutes from my house, Jersey Strong. She is like, tried out again. The girl with the red hair that they like couldn't yes, stand, but yes. was so great. She tried out again. Like, How do you know all this? Because I'm all over it. I follow them. Oh my God. Thank you for the tea. I'm, no, I'm obsessed with them. Oh, I love this. And yeah. then the, the girl whose mom... Like the girl who like didn't make the team for the following Victoria year. Victoria that lives in New York now that I've DM'd like multiple times and is nef- she hasn't answered me yet because she thinks I'm going to kill her. <laughs> <laughs> who I'm like, do you just need a friend? She's like, no. Stop. <laughs> I love that. I want to just be friends with her. I'm going to be like, Are you, hi. Like, yeah. No, I'm trying to get to her. Wow. Well, let's move on to our uncircumcised gems, which is what we watched this week. And we have to open it up with our craziest woman of the week. Have you reached out to Tanya from Chimp Crazy? No, but what a star. <laughs> what, what a star. star. So, okay. I have controversial co- opinions about Eric Good, but we'll let you go first and then I'll, and then we'll talk. Well, I speak about this weekly. So the finale for me was like, it could not have been better. Like you couldn't yeah. write that shit. Spoiler. She fucking got attacked by a monkey. <laughs> like, Wait, I, someone just told me that that was fake. What? The, unverified, obviously. I, this is just hearsay. Oh. I was told that some other woman who that actually happened to, she like sent Tanya those pictures of the <gasps> ear and that wasn't Tanya's ear and she used it. But like, don't you think Eric Good is like a filmmaker that wouldn't, lie like you don't think he knew you think she's no, just lying he lied to her what are you talking about right i believe that she fooled them i don't think he knew that this was okay. fake i just heard that this apparently was fake and i don't know why i asked i was like why would she do that and i think it was to like state her case of like even if i was attacked i would still love the chimps like and I, she has no regrets and she would do it again yeah it's weird that because i felt like see look it happened to her like I don't know. I thought like the point was proven. Like, look how fucking dumb you look now. Here's the thing. These women that have these, first of all, I, my first note about Jim crazy is this is not a show about bestiality. And yet it is (laughs) like it is. And these women, it all happens the same. They all like have the chimp. The chimp is our child. The chimp wears clothes. The chimp is a human. A human Z is the one woman said who I call crocodile Dundee. She says that it's a human Z. And I'm like, that's yep, not a yep. thing. And then the chimp gets too like big and too ag- like not aggressive, but like strong is like, why am I in this cage? Like, I don't want to be yep. here. Give and me then the they out. all get to the end of their rope. The women do with these chimps. And then eventually the chimp attacks someone. And their first gut reaction is like, kill the chimp. Like you need to kill him. Cause they like know that they're living on borrowed time with this chimp. That's eventually going to go crazy because you're keeping him in cactus captivity and they'll do anything they can to not allow PETA to take the chimp so yes like they'd rather the chimp die than it be in PETA's care because then PETA would win which is so fucked up and I partly blame PETA for because they're so petty you know what I mean which they they are looking out for the chimps but then they're fucking vicious in the doing of that and they like create all these enemies it's fucking crazy but when once I saw how I don't know I thought Tonka seemed happy and that 
beautiful sanctuary, no, right? Like when running Tonka free. didn't have congestive heart failure, <laughs> I wanted to murder Tanya. I wanted to reach to the, the freaking thing and sh- grab that wig and rip right. it off her head and just shake her and be like, stop doing this. Rip the lashes off. So you're right. She is capable of fully making up this ending, which would just yes. blow my mind. Now, what are your thoughts on Eric Good? I mean, I was, we loved Tiger King. Like, I love Tiger King. I have heard and seen, we've seen in these, in Tiger King and in this, the whole reason Tiger King exists is because he tried to make a show where he was the host, which like no one cared about right, him because right, right. he's a nobody. And like, he tried to make a show where he would go around to all these exotic pet owners and like, just show how kooky they are, which PS would love to watch that show. Like <laughs> that to me, why didn't we get that show? Because it's, Fit to print, in my opinion, because these people are fucking nutsos, and it's great to watch them, and I'm obsessed with it. Like, Tanya, again, as much as I was, like, puking when Tanya was, like, getting her lip injections, like, I'm also can't look away. She, and this is not she, the end of, we'll see her again. Oh, I need her on Dancing with the yeah, Stars we'll, next season. We'll Imme- definitely. Immediately. I mean, if the chick from Tiger like, King was on Dancing with the celebrity Stars. Big, celebrity Big Brother, oh, like, one of those. That She'd be would great. Be good Big Brother. Survivor. <laughs> but... All this to say, he wanted to make the show where he was the host and was like going around and like traveling to all these places to like interview these exotic pet owners, and no one wanted to buy it. So it like got muddled into like seventy five different things, and eventually it turned into Tiger King, which he doesn't whatever. come off for me. He, he, I didn't feel like he came off like this guy who wanted to be in front of the camera. He looked like Marnie, <laughs> Marnie. The last wow. episode is like the the like emancipation of Eric Good, which I thought was like so losery and stupid. I don't know. Is she a criminal that perjured herself in a federal court? Yes. <laughs> like, is she manip- Did she do the the like performance of a lifetime on that Zoom oh, where she's like crying? crying. Like, was I fucking diddling myself to it? Yes. <laughs> like, was it amazing? Yes. Like, as a viewer, was I eating it up? Yes. Like, does she deserve my empathy? A little bit, because I think that she's mentally unwell. Like, I think all these women that are doing this are, like, mentally... A thousand percent, they're not well. need care and don't have it. And this is their version of hoarding, kind of. And their poor children. Ugh. Like, they lied to her about what this documentary was. Right. Period. Done. Like, like I've never lied to anyone about what What the show was that they were signing up for. Like, you know, can people say whatever they want? Yes. Did that... Is there... 800 hours of Real Housewives of New York or New Jersey or wherever for them to watch before they sign up for the Real Housewives? Yes, there, there is. Is there, you know, when so someone this, goes on this release, Beat Bobby Flay, is there 37 seasons of it to sh- see what you're getting yourself into? But yes, a there documentary, is. there isn't, right? Sure. So I, but, I'm just thinking what that release said, working title. But <laughs> there's Tiger King. Right. And that's what she was getting herself into. But I mean, and no, you're you're right here. That's why he hired the the proxy. No, of course. I'm just saying, like, it's wild that they think they can like do that and be like, I'm a documentarian when right. we get so much shit for being like, you're manipulative and you do this and you do that. I'm like, bitch, I don't do anything behind anyone's back. I'll do it right to your face and be like, because I need to look you in the face afterwards right. and be like, all right, we still right? we're good. You good? Like you good? Like that we're gonna get through this together. You know what I'm saying? That's how I work. I respect person. that. And that to me is like, we get looked down upon all the time by these documentarians. And I'm like, you fucking lied way. You exploited her way worse than she would have on Real Housewives or The Bachelor. Right. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. And, and, and Housewives and all these reality shows, it's just, I feel like stories just coming from there, what's actually happening. And it's just, I think, and this is what happened on Mormons, the cameras are there and it's just, everything gets elevated. Cameras are sure. there and everyone just, it's, they're more hyped. They're more dramatic. Yeah. Good. Great. Yeah. Tanya but is made I'm, for television. You know, she was, she's like, I'm a star. Like she's a star. She loved it. So I'm wondering, you think she, she, she would have said no if, if, if he was truthful? I think she would have, no, she would have said no if he was truthful, but I had a lot of fucking respect for her when she got, when she was like, I'll meet with him. Mm-hmm. And he sat down and she shook his hand and looked him in the face. And he was like, do you see why I did this? And she's like, yeah, I do. Like he said, he, I, and he said he was, he had like, he does this too. Like he had pets. Yeah. And I don't think he meant a dog. Like he made it sound like. No, he's like an animal lover. Like he, I think has be, been boxed into like being the person to like reveal these people for who they are. But I think he kind of is one too. Wow. Wow. Well, it's, I don't know, but 
I just, it's hilarious to me that like no one else is talking about how deceptive they were to this person. You're right. That's not the story because she was such, she was such a character. She was amazing. So that's all anybody could see right now is her, is her lips and her hair. And I I can't imagine her. I don't think she has money. Like, any money she has is no. Put, I think she does. You th- I think she no. From I think from she does. selling from what we we are forgetting that in the first episode she's like I'm the like chimp mogul the chimp pimp. I'm like she's like trafficking animals on the black market. So she, like she admits to it in the yeah. first episode, and that's what's paying for her <laughs> lips. They're making shitloads of money. Well, I hope I hope this is not I the was, end of Tanya. Was in, it was incredible. Like it really all was me. Like me bashing Eric Good aside, like. It was incredible television and not because he's a good filmmaker because she is just, oh, she would, yes. you could just put a camera on her and do anything and it was compelling. And let's give it up for Tonka as well. Oh God. <laughs> you know what I didn't really like? I didn't love Alan Cumming coming at the end. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I was like, I don't like this. We discussed this last week. Do you think he was paid by PETA? A hundred percent. Oh, one hundred percent. Why wouldn't he be? And of course, that's a good tactic to get more eyes on the case, so that the people will like the P.S. Tonka needed to be taken away from this woman. Yeah. Period. Like, I'm not here to like say she's like God's gift to the earth. Like, she's a criminal. <laughs> uh, the fact that she's not in prison is crazy. We watched her <laughs> lie on the stand. Oh my <laughs> like, god. I would love a whole episode of just like, why did these women do this? And have it be like a psychologist talking well, to me. Remember when the, the husband, like the husband died and then she started putting the chimp in the husband's outfits. Like <laughs> that's, I, I mean, like I get it. Like, I don't need you to explain it to me, but like, I would just do a whole episode on that. Like, cause that to me is, in fa- is fascinating. So do you think there's some sort of spinoff here as your, as your they're, reality they're gonna show producer they're gonna try to do that, but like, I'm not really into that. I don't know. I always just feel like any documentary anymore is so biased. Whereas like we try so hard on our reality shows nowadays, I feel like to be the most unbiased Mm. in the sense of trying to get every side of the story. So that's a good segue to the Bravo of the week. So do you watch Dubai? I'm like a couple behind. I don't love Dubai, but on the plane yesterday, I did the reunion, and my God, did that reunion deliver? Are they they're coming for each for blood? Yes, and the last episode, uh, I I Ann and and Lisa were fighting, but the 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 reunion, I kept saying this whole season, I'm not loving Dubai. I have a love hate relationship with it. I'm gonna watch it just to watch it. The fashion in itself is ridiculous, but the reunion it's, brought yeah. so much: the drama, the crying, the fighting, like. It just got me. So if you're watching okay. Dubai, stick with it or just fucking watch okay. the reunion. The reunion was great. I, I'm liking, this is the thing about, but this is, it's kind of like what Dubai is, is like, it's all this glamour and fashion. And then like when you dig five inches deeper, it's like, there's nothing. Mm. Like I, that I is, need to right. open up more and like, they're all trying to be the star and I need them to just be themselves. That's my And how do you... But I, do, I'm watching. I like them. Like, I'm interested. I want them to be... They're, they're not as funny. I want... I need some more comedy. I was going to say, so, like, if if you're on in the field with them, what would you... How do you say that in a nice way? Like, you know, get your I ego out of the way and, like... You're selling this to me and I need you to just do it. Just be. Just be. Like, whatever the performance version of this is, I need it to be the authentic version of this. I do believe that they're all fighting for for the camera. They're all, like, that yeah. came up on the reunion. Like, they're just, they just want the storyline. And what do you think of that in general on these housewife shows? When you, you start hearing that now, like, they're breaking the fourth wall, and they're like, you're stealing, you want this story. I think that Salt Lake is the last one that we have that's very, like, old school. Mm. Like, they're in it, they're in the game, they're in the machine, and they're doing it. And, like, that is still one that I'll watch and be like, wow, they're really just fucking living out loud. That- and like Lisa Barlow is like, in my opinion, one like top housewives ever because she is, she will get much like Luann will get hit with a Mack truck, get r- like destroyed and then just stand back up and be like, huh, and like brush it off You're and right. just keep on trucking. Salt Lake's like, on this it's, week. It's premiering this week. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. It's premiering this week. God. What do you think of, I uh, watched this morning, the OC. I'm obsessed with Orange County. Did you think... I, there's something about Orange County that forever... I don't care if it's like the worst one ever and terrible. I will always watch I it. I don't think it is. I think this season's good. I, 
Shannon was she drunk? Is, was she drunk at the forest meditation when she rolled in? Literally, probably. she seemed drunk. Probably. I was like, oh god, Shannon. No, but I don't even care. I don't even care. I know Shannon is a force. I feel so bad for her. She can never catch a break, and she really is Eeyore, and everything is bad, and everything's terrible. But God damn it, if she is she not the most watchable person alive uh, besides Tanya? <laughs> besides no, so but Tanya, yeah. I'm like repulsed by yeah. like when you those close ups of Tanya's lips, like I want to vomit. Like I'm serious. Like I was eating one episode, and I had to put my food down because I was like, I simply can't eat food while I look at her lips and eyelashes. Well, I, like, I, I will simply- say, what blows me away is when they flash back to Shannon. Like years ago, I'm like, wow, she she's aged. I know. Like this hasn't done well, well David, for her. David has put her through absolute fire and brimstone hell for no reason, and then this Johnson. John Johnny J oh. did the same fucking thing, and I'm like, I can't even deal with it. Shannon, when she leans down in the last episode and looks Alexis right in the face and goes, Alexis, I heard that you want to talk to me and I just want to let you know that I'm not interested. I have to get on a flight now. Goodbye. I was like, yeah, Shannon, like tell that stupid bitch. <laughs> like I was like screaming at my television. Like, and I was giving her a standing ovation. I, I was proud of her. I was proud of I'm, her. I, oh, Alexis needs I to Shannon fucking so go. I, 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 I can't, I, I, I feel, I just feel really bad for Shannon. And I also, I'm not loving that. Like, Tamara is like I used to. I thought Tamara was amazing like, when I started on. Tamara's show. still. T- Tamara's one of my favorites of all time, but this season I'm not. It's, she's. It's too much. Did you follow her face journey on Instagram? I can't. I can't. I couldn't look at it. Speaking of wanting to vomit, <gasps> she's like, "Here's my neck peeling." I was like, "Get this away from me." I'm curious the before and after. Like, does she? Is she yeah. really going to look different? She's a beautiful woman. I don't think she needed I bet this. She, no, but I bet you, no, but I'm not going to lie to you. Those like, when you get that like lasered thing that like your, all your skin falls off, like it, you do look like You do? I'm not going to lie. So like, is, no, I think, because like Ramona did it multiple times. Like, like Melissa Gorga did it. Like, she did? The, uh, yeah, remember when Ramona like had like that scarf on her face and they had to like walk her, they were like in Mexico. <laughs> the, you I just thought that was a facelift. No, she got like the, the laser oh. thing, and that's like her fo- her face couldn't be in the sun. Mm. But no, when you do it, like it, fu- it like really so fucks your. Do show. you want to make a prediction that Dominic Poopa will do that in the next five years? He should uh, in the next five months. <laughs> the next five months. Oh God. <sighs> Uh, so he's asking people on our podcast. He's asking people like, "Who can give, give me a neck free. lift? Right, like, like, give me a neck lift. Like, who has gotten a neck lift and has enjoyed themselves? Like, let me find me your doctor." Wow, so, I just don't love how Tamara I, is. Like, I feel like she's siding with Alexis. I feel like she's just yeah, taking Shannon and I, down. And it's and usually I like when Tamara's like, "All right, time to do our jobs and like talk about this thing we all need to talk about." And Tamara would just bring it up, but it's a little much on the side. Like she's doing it. She's siding with Alexis just to not be on Shannon's side, and I don't. I want them to come together. Mm. I need them to be. I don't like this. How? Because how? one, we're losing Tamara in the shuffle of the we show. We are. You're which absolutely has never right. And ever. You're absolutely ever right on this show. And like, I need her in, involved more. And I just Shannon. Like, stop beating. You look bad beating up on Shannon. Mm, she does. They all. Yeah, they do. And Shannon's like surviving it for the first time, like ever. Which is, I'm like so proud of her. And did you? And Alexis, I. And if this is the thing, if I could, if I was producing Alexis, I'd be like, you are just clearly the cheerleader of your boyfriend. And like, we don't know, like, we know nothing more about her than we did when she left the show. hundred percent. You are correct. I, and like, she could have solidified herself back on this television show. And I don't f- see, foresee that. Happening. She looks like John's bitch. And why is it John ever coming on the show? Did something happen? Also, but this is the other thing. John Jansen, if you desperately wanted your reputation to be better, this dumbest thing you could have ever done was like basically blackmail Shannon into paying you money while they're filming the show. Bad. Like, is he bad? Also, isn't that illegal? <laughs> There's so many. Cr- we, isn't that we've, black- we've discussed no, right? a lot of criminals today. <laughs> we really have. But isn't that like blackmail? Extortion yeah. Or blackmail? Yeah. Isn't that illegal? Like, couldn't like I'm watching her be blackmailed. Right? It's so fucked up. And I just want to know why he hasn't shown his face. Well, because he wants nothing to do. He wants, he's getting everything he wants. He's Through not her. involved. Right. And yet she's doing all of it and like destroying Shannon for outing him for being a loser, being basically dirty job. And they got proposed, um, he proposed to her. I'm hoping f- cameras were up. Great. Do you think cameras were up? No, I'm, I don't think they are. Wait, let's think about this. I wouldn't know. 
No, because they haven't done the reunion yet. Correct. They haven't done the reunion yet. God, if he was really smart, he would call one of the producers and be like, get a crew up. Right? No, but he doesn't want it. He doesn't want to be on the show. But he is on the show. You know what I mean? I like know. physically he's not there. It's one of those. But he's it's one of those. in it. I know. He's a main character hate- now. <laughs> it's so annoying. And much to my great chagrin, is he that? Oh, my God. Why is Gina not living in the house with her boyfriend? Do we know? No. But she made it sound like at the end of this I week's need to know. episode, there's a lot of drama. I don't, but what is it? I don't, I don't know. Can they just not afford a house with like seven bedrooms, which is a completely fine thing to say. Oh, I don't think that's what it is. It's so weird. Like if you want to be with Travis, then let him live with you. Like I honestly, I think it's fucking up the kids even more. Or do you think it's the, is it like Travis's ex is like not doing, like, is she being a monster? Like, do you know what I'm saying? Right. I, it, Something I, is not she's, clear. She's not coming and out. she can't it. say right, that right, obviously right, on the right. show to be like, his wife, X is a monster and like, doesn't want us to live together. And yeah, so, but she, I, I mean? thought this came from her, not from him. I don't know. But is that because they're being terrorized? Right, I, right, I'm right. making, I don't know that for a fact, but like, it doesn't make any sense and we don't have any reason right. for it. I mean, I welcome, I welcome any theory you have. So I don't, I just don't know. I know I simply don't know. All right. So, and it doesn't make any sense to me. In other Bravo news, the show could have been on Bravo. Let's get into Selling Sunset. You did all of Selling Sunset. I am only halfway through, oh. but I just had Maya grace my screen from back in the day who I loved. She, I loved her too. I really, I, I her. she, she I want her to come back, back. like the only person that was really real. <laughs> like, yeah, she was the only person who didn't have to get decked in this, in these clothes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I love her too. I was happy okay. to have her. Who do you love and who do you not love? Wow. So this season, I was really enjoying Brie until the end. Okay. The end, she does something really shady. And I just can't help but think, look, we all know who produces the show. It's, you know, Adam DeVello who does who did The Hills. The Hills. And yeah. you, there's obviously a level of like heavily produced segments and parts of this show. But did you get to the part where Brie sits down with Chelsea? No, Brie just found out from this girl who I wanted to be. Christine is the one oh, that told her I wish Christine. Like, Quinn. can you imagine that would Christine have been amazing? That up? would be amazing. Like, I, that's what I want. Like, is Christine just on a bridge somewhere, being like, "Fuck, I really fucked this up." I don't know, or is she just living now off of the money from her ex husband, who's a billionaire. I don't know, but I don't think that because but wasn't he filing like domestic abuse yeah. charges they against were a mess. her? She's a she was. She's a lot. Which P.S. like validates whenever, remember when Emma, the one with the empanadas, yeah. was like, remember when you like attacked me? And she's like, no, like, okay, like, yep, validated that. But like, I wanted to be Christine. It was like, it was this whole like, oh, this like mystery person is going to come in and it's like her friend from last season. By like, the way. I'm like, okay, that's not like a reveal. They are, go- I, I think she's going to be on ne- next season. Like the way, sure, the way I mean, this season be, drops, duh. she drops okay. that Chelsea's husband was seen at the W Hotel you know, kissing a girl. Making out with some 24-year-old, yeah. And, Which piece, that, that's LA, baby. Right, right, right. But <laughs> Brie sat her down and it didn't seem like she was out to get her. It really seemed genuine. She's like, look, woman to woman. No, like she was like, I now know this and I have to tell you and it's on camera, so it's gonna And happen. that's so like, yeah. where the story turns and everyone's like, she did this on camera. This is so fucked up. Why'd she do this on camera? And she, Brie's like, it's not my fault. My friend told me on camera. So I'm sure, you know, yeah. to... To continue the and narrative, also, we had to get this on camera. And I used to love Chelsea. Like, Chelsea was my favorite one because she was, one, insane with the outfits. Insane. Like, wearing a bikini top as a shirt. Oh, just wait. It. Did you get to the one where she's wearing underwear, basically, to a showing? And, the, and, they're, and they're like, you can't wear this anymore. And she's like, is so upset. Yeah. Yes, I okay. saw that part. I used to love Chelsea, but I've slowly been turning on her. And then when she tried to go up against Mary, my main bitch... I was like, absolutely. Like, Mary's the only reason the fucking office is like a float. Yeah. So I said, Mary's in like a, a Kathy cartoon. Remember Kathy, the comic strip? Of course. That's Mary. Mary's like the, Mary's like <laughs> at her desk, like typing away, like, and is the only thing that's really actually funny. selling houses. Do you, and like, she is the only, like, Mary, I like have a love for. And so when they I were love Mary fighting, too. I was like, I was like, don't go up against Mary. Like, how dare you? Because Mary Chelsea? seems to me maybe the only one who is like, a true agent, like a true real estate agent. They're but all, they're I all mean, are they? Sure. Are they? Sh- sure. <laughs> sure. What, oh, but oh, you know who's not a real they, real estate agent? Let's talk about the new girl who I think is gorgeous and I love her. St- I'm obsessed with I, I like her. Lot, I don't care. No, I love her style. I deep dived her hard. Yeah. I'm following her. 
Her style is so classy and sophisticated. Well, yeah, and like her like taint isn't out every like every like outfit that they're wearing, which they're like you don't fit in here. And it's like yeah, because she like covers up her areolas, like unlike all the rest of what you. What you might have missed is her apology. She does not own the Pioneer Town. Pioneer Town is very upset. Did you hear? Did you get to that point? No. Yeah, I, they're about. To- to go there. Oh, and so I'm she like, she claims she owns up. this town, but by the way, they go there and nobody knows her, but it came out that she just bought real estate there. And she like, she worded it the wrong no, way. Uh, she said that yeah, she just owned like how it. They all have private. Yeah. Just like how they all have private jets and all these nice cars that they rent. I'm sure that they're on a, pri- you know what I'm saying? But they, they like, really made it seem like she owned this town and she came out. I think it was in page six and she apologized. This is, She's like, I don't own this the is town. What I don't get. If this was housewives and she said she owned the town, the whole trip would us be being like, do you know this girl? Do you know her? Do you know? Like it would be them like hunting for people to try to like find out that she doesn't own it. Whereas like they're just like, yeah, like, oh yeah, wish fulfillment. Like we love like like Netflix is not afraid to just completely lie about something. Oh and my God. Then, and, like you're absolutely it comes right. out in page six that like, this, this, and this was not real, or like like on Love is Blind when they edit stuff to be wrong. Like all of the fucking people immediately sing like canaries to be like, no, that was edited, this and that, blah, blah. And it like and baby and, like, and baby ranger's going to trial soon for that defamation. Yeah. So you're I, Meanwhile, that woman, meanwhile, <laughs> that woman is fucking cuckoo for cocoa puffs. <laughs> Martha. He was on Pierce Morgan. I saw it. I, I saw it too. Thing. I saw it too. I was eating, I was like literally popcorn. eating popcorn. Oh my God. And then some guy, then like a week later, some guy, like Paul, some guy in the UK is like on there to fight with Pierce about like Gaza. And then at the very end, after they've been screaming at each other for like 45 minutes, he goes, oh, and P.S., that woman that was on Baby Reindeer stalked me as well. <gasps> Bye. And like, it was just, yes. Oh my God. Dude, yeah. I love all the lunatics. That, that woman, it's amazing. I'm obs- But I'm you am- brought up a good, amazing. you know, so bravo. They're scared. They never want to lie. It, it's. No, we would like be like, does she own this town? We need to so find. So you would again, fact check. Would you, you guys truth. fact check it before you go or let's let the women do it? Would you, but would you feed that into the girls? Like, do you really think she owns no. this? No, unless like we knew it wasn't true, okay. but they would know it wasn't like these women aren't stupid. They would be like, she doesn't own a whole town. We would well, know these she girls was. Like, start questioning it, but they still don't discover it. You know, but well, they're about to. <laughs> it's Netflix. It's Netflix. Well, one, it's they're not the brightest bulbs in the tanning bed. Can I just? Well, say obviously, that? I, love them I know. All also, you know what happens? Um, a spoiler. I don't know which brother it is. He makes a big. It's uh, it's always Jason. <laughs> Brett, Jason. Like it's never in the show. He decides to take on Kanye West's Malibu concrete slab, and guess how much he's putting it on the market for? This is embarrassing. It's- 70, 75 million. 53. And the girls are like, what the fuck? And he's like, it's a piece of art and someone's going to buy it. It's concrete. Well, yeah, someone's going to buy it because it's Kanye West's house. That's like, he's right. So that, that's, how the, that's how the season ends. <laughs> oh God, they're such fucking losers. It's, I love it. I, I, I will watch, I will be put in the ground watching them like as like ghosts still selling yeah, the Yeah. Do you like, watch I, selling it? Do you like, watch the other one selling the OC? You know that I'm like more obsessed with the OC one and I, have had dinner with Polly. What? Polly's my friend. Stop. Love her. Yeah. How'd you, did you slide into her? I love Did Polly. you slide into her DMs? I did Kate Casey's podcast for the first season and we like talked about it and like Polly DM'd her. Like, I was like, love Polly. She's my favorite, blah, blah. And so I f- obviously was following her. And so she started following me after she listened to the episode. I love and then that. Me, her, Kate Casey and Hassan got dinner when I was in the OC. Wow. Does she really sell real estate? Yes. No, she's a real realtor. Everyone's just that good looking in LA. So like she was a model and then she started working at the O group and then they were like, Oh, we're doing the show. And she was like, okay, oh, she's perfect. And then she was like, Oh, I, yeah, no, she's like a, she was like a real model. And then was like, I want to do real estate cause I don't want to be a model anymore. And, and then, yeah, she's been on my show. She's been on fixing famous people. Oh, I didn't know that. I love that. Yeah. Right. This is exciting. Yeah. All right. So what have you heard about the secret lives of Mormon wives. Some people are loving it. Some people are not loving it. Okay. So my husband, one of his very good friends is Mormon. And he was very excited when he heard about the show and he thought it was going to be more documentary style. And then he watched, started watching the first episode with me. He's like, I can't do this. I was like, this is, yeah. this is not for you, Casey. This is a very quick watch. I'm talking one, one day this, you could finish this. You could do this on a plane ride. I'm shocked you didn't do it on the plane. I was already, I think it dropped once I was already gone. I don't think I have, you know what it is? You didn't have Wi-Fi there? I don't have Hulu, like, 
Pro or whatever. Correct. You need the Hulu and option so where you could download. download. I can't download anymore. I understand. That's really funny because in our household, we go back and forth in two different Hulu accounts. Once yeah, 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 with, yeah. Once with, the, with, with ads and once with that. But I'm always like, when I fly, I need to make sure I'm the, on the one with, without the ads so I could download. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this show, to me, is like you talk about like a reality show producer's dream because these women are so unhinged. Once those cameras go up, they're like, there's so much that happened just in the first episode. It's like divorce, but is cheating. It like, but is it performing? I There's a part where like, I remember like Jen Shaw, like in like season like two of, of Salt Lake City, it was like, all right, like we get it. You have like a microphone and you come in and like there's the assistants and there's- I don't the, think like, they're performing yet. I think- I'm sure they're going to get another season. I'm, I keep saying, when are they going to become characters of themselves? I think, well, first of all, there's so there's so many layers of this. The biggest layer, and my husband is like, how are they Mormons when some of them drink, they're cheating, they're fucking, like, they're just, I mean, they could fuck, but like, they're having sex before marriage. They're, some of them do drink caffeine, but most of them just drink soda. Like, there's so many things... I don't understand how they're not excommunicated. Like at least the housewives of Salt Lake City are like, I'm out. These girls yeah, are yeah, not yeah. out. They're in it. Well, are they're they in out, the church. Are they out now? No. Are they out now? Unless, unless they get dropped and they get, I haven't heard anything. And I also think, who chooses to be a Mormon? Most of these girls were born into it, right? One of them chose it at the age of 16. But they're also getting, they're all getting divorced. And also like the whole, like the fact that the media took the whole, like Ben Affleck's cousin is on, is so insane. They've never met. It's like a very long distance cousin. Yeah. It's like a seventh cousin, yeah, like yeah. twice, th- three times removed. And, and, like, the, and, and the guy, yeah. Zach Affleck is the worst husband of all of them. He's a controlling asshole who's so such what a, a dick. What a surprise. Yeah, such a dick. Marnie. <laughs> don't don't even get me started on, them, on I know. On okay. Ben Affleck. Okay. For real. Like I like oh, oh, I'm so mad. What are you mad about? You knew they were going to get divorced. No, I knew they were going to get divorced. I think he's a fucking piece of shit. Like I just think what he's like What was she like doing? Why was she, why is she, why I, I know you you're all JLo stalks you guys. I'm all in on her. I was really not and now I'm really so, in on her. Uh, I'm so sorry to digress a little. But why these? She's a smart businesswoman. Doesn't she know that such a public marriage, it's just enough? Like, why does she? No, but that's what she wants. This is she's Elizabeth Taylor. Okay, she wants to be. She that's that's she's Elizabeth Taylor, and he didn't want it. He never wants that. No. So like, why did she think she was going to change him? I don't know, but I also think he, in every way, was telling her like, "No, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here." Like, and then now he doesn't want it. Like, never forget that he. On her engagement ring, he engraved not going oh anywhere God. to like make up for the fact that he ran away from the altar w- like two days before their wedding because it, the public scrutiny was too much. And him picking up that camera in that documentary, he what was in it, man. He was in it. What a- When he was doing like film school 101 <laughs> with her in the camera truck, I, give me a fucking break. Is what I have to say about so, that. So, Mr. Affleck, and I'm talking not to you, Ben, to Zach Affleck. <laughs> Fuck, man. I mean, they they do this trip to Vegas, and his wife goes to Chip so, to Chippendales. Are th- oh god, and then he's upset. She has to leave, and he's in Vegas gambling. He's got They're an addiction. They, there's there's a lot of things these girls are doing. One of them, Demi, did ketamine therapy. Like they're oh, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. When they do Botox, they get laughing gas. They're so thirsty for the high because they yeah. don't drink. No, laughing and this gas. Is like so it's it's so like again they're because they're like mom talk or whatever. It's so like everything is for the spectacle of it because they would be like recording this on right. the phone. Now that you're saying it. I'm like, wow, I wonder if I did like, I'm not rewatching, but like if I, it would appear more like a show. I listen to them on a podcast and they're like, oh, there's so much, like there's so much backstory of each of these women. I'm not, fuck it, they're girls. They're so young. Um, yeah, right, they're like 22. <laughs> one of them, a few of them are like 30. A lot of them are in their second marriages. And I do believe that there is a lot more rawness that we could get. But the main girl who, by the way, the one who's pregnant, um, Taylor, the first episode, right out of the bat, you're like, oh, she's the one that broke the scandal, the sex scandal yeah, on yeah, yeah. TikTok. And th- I thought the whole show was going to be about her. But she really just has the first episode, and then she's just kind of sprinkled in, like the rest. That's more of like a cohesive, like eight-person cast. I thought the whole yeah. show was going to be about Taylor. But 
I mean, she she was arrested. Like, they, they, there's so much story. Well, and that's like weird. Do you know what's so funny too? And not to like, when they're all like on their second marriages and this and blah, blah, blah. It's like, there's so much like spiritual bypassing of them being like, oh, I'm like in the eyes of the Lord. I'm like, fine. And none of this bad stuff that happened that I like did in my past like matters because like God saved me. And that's like, so I might not like this show if that's what this it's, is. It's, did you watch the Ashley Madison documentary? A li- there no, was not one the of the stories thing. of Ashley Madison was like uh, one of the guys, very religious man, was one of the the men that was cheating. On sure, his wife. yeah. And one of these husbands, you know, is caught on on Tinder and and talking to women, and it's just like, how do you claim that you're this like man of God and like you're so religious and all the things the church, but all, every one of them is fucking is is not abiding by the rules. Like, no, of course they're not. So interesting. I'm, I am curious on your take. I would like you to watch it for me. I will. I'm going to watch. Maybe I'll come back. Or we need to have you guys on again and yeah, like talk I would, about it. Because I know everyone's talking about everyone. it. It's like the show of the. It's the show of the month, for sure. I'm right now, I'm still in my Selling Sunset okay. world. Where I'm just like watching them wear no clothing and like <laughs> have the most ridiculous outfits ever. And like pretend to sell a house and fight. Well, you know what's funny? I have a note. At what point are these girls, or what season will these girls start dressing like the housewives? You know, like, will they start elevating their their wardrobe? I hope not. Soon. Soon. Like, when are they going to really elevate and not wear, like, their Lululemons? (laughs) Like, every every episode. So, this is our last segment. It's called Bye Felicia. Bye Felicia. And on Bye Felicia, we discuss what we're watching this week. So, we know you're going to watch Selling Sunset. Now, I want to say a few things. Emmys are on Sunday night. Oh, yeah, That's a big moment. Emily in Paris, part two dropped. I'm going to be doing that. Have you watched yet? I did part one. Part two dropped yesterday, today. Yeah, it's yes. out now. I need to get so on I'm doing it. Part one, snooze fast. It was, you know. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to Another lie. show I'll watch for the fashion and for the sights, you know? Yeah, for the men. Yeah, <laughs> for the men. The men are so hot on that show. My God, it's insane. Salt Lake City's out on the 18th. Can't the wait. Golden Bachelorette is out on the 18th. Cannot wait. <laughs> that preview, got, I, I rather watch the Golden eras of it than the regular people. Why but, are they still making the normal Bachelor? It's so enjoyable. Marnie, Marnie, <laughs> why are they? When they were showing like, and ne- the next Bachelor, this Greek man, whatever, whoever he was, whenever we were watching like Gary and Teresa, I was like, get this out of my face. Like what? How dare you not immediately do exactly what you did and make Joan the Golden or whatever her name was the Golden ba- the Golden Bachelorette? Well, she like, is. I don't. Jo- Joan see- is the Golden Bachelorette. I know, but I'm saying I needed that immediately. Oh, following right. This. Like you're saying, they not- took too long to to get it out. I don't need two seasons of right, twenty right. somethings. I'm gonna try to watch this one. I did the Gary and one. I, I haven't watched like the I regular don't- Bachelor in truly like a decade, and I like have no interest in it. But the Golden Bachelor was like a ten out of ten. I me. agree. I don't watch the regular twenty something year olds. I just read. The, I just read couldn't, the read the updates. Care less. You know, it's, don't even yeah. care. Don't even care about mm. it. P.S. Like if I had to be the Bachelorette, like. Some of the men that she's being They're courted hot. by would be, I would want to be courted. They're very good by. Like, looking. I'm like, these men are gorgeous. These are, like, what's there's happening? There's a lot of DILFs in here, yeah. or should I say GILFs? Yeah. Grandpas. Both. Grandpas I like to fuck. Both. Um, the Penguin also starts on the 19th with Colin Farrell, which. I mean, he's like top three yeah, for me. I'll so. definitely be watching that. There's also a documentary yeah. on Hulu dropping with Demi Lovato called Child Star that she's <laughs> behind and Drew Barrymore is in it. That'll be a quickie, maybe. That maybe that will be. Uh, this is the thing. Now that you're saying that it's with Drew Barrymore in it, Drew's that in it gives me she that that makes me happy. She's done like 17 versions of this same thing where she talks about being a child star, but it's really it's covertly just a way to like advertise her new album. So like she has broken my trust, but now that I'm hearing Drew Barrymore, that Drew's makes, in I it. would love to hear Drew Barrymore talking about her being a child star. I also want to know, have you seen, because if you have it, you should watch it. It's a real quickie. It's on Hulu and FX English teacher. It's, no. it's a scripted, it's a comedy and it's so good. It's about a male gay teacher in Austin, Texas. And it's just so smart and witty and three episodes are out and it's fantastic. And Oh, you should I will watch, watch it. That. And on that note, similarly, I started actually I watched one episode today, How to Die Alone. Also on Hulu, quick 30 minute 
Uh, Natasha Rothwell. Yeah. yeah, looks fine. And it was yeah. just so, it was it was funny. And like the music and all these shows are great. The, the, the dialogue is so good. And both of these shows, they kind of give me the same feeling of like, just good TV, just good, solid TV that we need. Yeah. We're getting some shows. We are. We're getting some like good shows that aren't like, we're, I think we're, I think maybe we're slowly getting out of this thing of like every single show that they make needs to like rock the, the Richter scale beyond repair and they can just make like good things and people will be satisfied. And I that. hope people watch the show like these shows, English teacher, because I, I don't want it to be like, Oh, it didn't have enough ratings. Like it's a really good show. I know it's like very annoying that like nowadays everything has to be a tiger King right. again, or like a chimp crazy to like, to be like, Oh, that was worth doing it. Whereas like, there's some really good shows on these streamers that no one watches. Is there, is there anything like, else this week that, I mean, I just blew your mouth. Like I just told you a lot of shows that are coming out. Anything else that you um, think is being viewed? I mean, I'm catching up on industry, which I thought, think was like a show that was so slept on for like four years. And now I'm like, finally they're putting money behind it. It's the best show. Because Kit Harrington is it's in it the now. Best. And it's just such a fucking good show. It's like the, the HBO of yesteryear that mm-hmm. we like all wish, like, like just keep making those. Like, please. I was, HBO. I, I was so thrilled when it got picked up for season two. Like, I was like, I didn't know anybody that was watching yeah. it. And I was very but worried. Again, I was, I'm writing, I'm going to be writing a whole article about this, but like, I was like, oh, well, no one watched, no one talked about this on like a podcast. So I'm like, N- they're never going to get a season two. And then even when they did get a season two, I'm like, well, they're just giving them a season two to see if it works. And then like, no one also talked about it. So it's never going to get a season three. And then I got a season three and I'm still like, okay, they put Kit Harrington in this. So obviously finally I should watch this like in its entirety it's because so good. it won't get canceled in two days. You and know? now I think now it's picking up press, right? Don't you think? And I hope it was. Yes, was it just Was it just Jon Snow that did that? And I think they, I think HBO themselves were like, we're going to put the full weight of our like PR machine behind this now versus. It's so good. I, I actually mentioned this like every week. I'm like, I don't even need to discuss industry. I, all I say is it's the best show on television. It's, it's so good. That episode. Are you, wait, and what episode you have, are you on? I'm, I'm still in season two. I'm like, okay. Yeah. No, I know. no, it's I know. okay. It's okay. You know, I did it without my husband cause I just had to do it. No, I, yeah, I didn't even, I didn't even consult us on about it. I was like, and really quick, like, I'm assuming you don't understand half of the things they're saying, but it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't doesn't matter. matter. It's so good. I know that there's a deal happening and it's high pressure. I don't need to know what that deal is. The point is that she's making deals and uh, way above her pay grade and her head. And she's still closing up. Such a great show. Oh my God. Thank you so much for joining us. Tell everybody where they could find you. Um, you can find me at the Krista Rosa and you can listen to me and Dominic on Fixing Famous People anywhere you find podcasts. Chris, thank you so much. Uh, Wait, we haven't even talked about it. What? Are you aware that possibly Alec Baldwin is having to go back and they're going to have to do a retrial of the whole thing? What? what? Okay. This is a... Wait, what? You came on our podcast to discuss Alec yes. Baldwin with your yes. mother. And apparently there's rumors of possibly having a retry, like that they're going to retry him because of like the, because the way he got off was like some like evidence flaw thing. Will they cover this on the fucking, what is it, TLC show? <laughs> I, I don't think that show's ever happened. No. I don't think that show's ever You think ever they happening. just made the announcement We're, and it's not going to happen? I think, I don't think that's, I don't know why, I don't know why I feel that way. I don't That's think an interesting gut feeling you're having. It was a PR move to be to, like, we're going to humanize my husband so he doesn't have to go to jail or to like, get the, this is my gravy train for if he does go to jail and I'm like raising these kids by myself. You know what I mean? I think that's what it was. And now that he's off scot-free for now, they're not even filming it. I bet you. We should, you're, you dropped a lot of bombs today. Sorry. No, that's, I mean, this is what we do. I, I'm, I appreciate it, but that's, that's big. Case you should edit in like a record scratch at the end of the episode. Like, <laughs> you guys, thank you so much. Um, Felicia's back next week. Chris, it was such a pleasure co-hosting with you. Thank you. My Felicia, bye, Felicia.